We should be able to discover what happened to Crypto 136. My scans have identified several radioactive areas in your vicinity, but there is one in particular that looks like it could be a crash site. I'm on it. Any of those baboons laid one hairy finger on me, I'll rip them a new asshole. brought my slicker. Of course, I could use a shower. What have you discovered? This is where 136 hit the dirt all right. You hey, found his ship? Out. A few died. little pieces, oh, most of it's right. gone. Recover any Furon technology the humans may have found. And rescue Crypto 136. Monkeys probably hitched the ship to their donkeys and dragged it back to their mud village so they can worship it as a god. Nobel Committee? <laughs> I should have joined the Texas Air National Guard. Now that'd be some easy duty. Pick on a plan of your own time. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Funny. Thank you very much. Enough of this. 
fought in the big one. Don't ask, don't tell. Works for me. Kenzie was right. I am a smoldering hotbed of sexuality under my cold, reserved exterior. This majestic stronghold must be where they are holding Crypto 136. Thought you'd be alive. Ah, oh, Crypto. Look what they've done to us. Laid us open like an animal. How could intelligent creatures do this? Okay, monkeys. You want a war? You've got a war. What? What did you find, Crypto? We're dead. An honorable death in the hands of an enemy in battle, that's one thing, Pox, but they... They desecrated us. And they're gonna pay. Oh, yes, they're gonna pay.
ain't like WW2. Now then, I know what you're thinking. What can I, a lowly novice, do to help bring about the destruction of Earth and the inevitable reign of the Furon Empire? Well, I'll tell you. It was in the earliest days of the Empire we realized our species was doomed. Eons of waging war on inferior races with unregulated atomic weaponry had mutated our genes. We could not propagate due to our complete and utter lack of genitalia. Fortunately, a Furon ship happened upon Earth on its way back from destroying the Martians. Human society was young and nubile. Sailors on a foreign planet letting off steam, one thing led to another. Long story short, every human being alive today has buried deep in his genetic code a strand of Furon DNA. Over the eons, we've learned to clone ourselves, but with each iteration, the information degrades, and the results are increasingly unpredictable. The Furon genes in humanity's DNA are ancient, uncorrupted. They represent the future of the Furon race. If only we can get at them.